Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're gonna be making some healthy protein muffins. Now these are with the Kodiak cake mix, my tried and true, I love these. They're so easy to customize, they're so great to just grab and run out the door. So if you wanna see how to make this healthy meal, just keep on watching. Okay, so for this recipe, you guys are gonna need some banana, butter, chocolate chips, eggs, Kodiak cakes, sugar, milk, and vanilla. Now I like to use light brown sugar, but you can use whatever kind that you would like. Okay, now start by adding two cups of the Kodiak cake mix. And one cup of milk. You can use any milk of your choice. I just prefer to use skim milk. Add one egg. Half a cup of brown sugar or any sugar you choose. You don't need the sugar in here. I just think it gives it an amazing flavor and I really like it. And then you're gonna be adding your butter, which is gonna be one fourth a cup softened butter. Now you don't want it melted. And then you're gonna add one teaspoon of cinnamon. I actually like to take off the lid for this, which I didn't realize I could do for so long, but it makes it a lot easier to get your cinnamon so you're not just shaking it. And then you're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla, which that is not on the instructions to add in on the back of the box. But I think with Kodiak cakes, it's really necessary. That way it just doesn't taste bland. And then add two ripe bananas. You don't want them overly ripe because I feel like it makes the bananas go bad or the muffins go bad faster. Um, so now you're just gonna mash them. And this takes a while. I've definitely edited this down. Um, you can blend them with a hand mixer, but I've made them with a hand mixer before and they just turned out really different. I don't know. I feel like it was, I don't know. There weren't like those nice pockets of banana everywhere to like make them really moist. They just, they tasted a lot drier. Um, so now you're just going to add that into your mix and mix it around. And this is kind of where you can assess to see if you need to add any more liquid or anything. I'm usually golden grams when it comes to the recipe. So, but you can add anything else you want in here, like some sort of dried up fruit, like cherries, or you could add walnuts or any sort of other kind of nut, or like sunflower seeds or chia seeds would even be a good addition to add into here as well. Now we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for 14 to 18 minutes. And this is gonna make around 12 muffins. Now this is the star of the show, mini chocolate chips. Now, I highly recommend the minis. It says to add one cup of dark chocolate chips or chopped walnuts on the box, but I love the mini chocolate chips. To me, they're so much better than the normal size chocolate chips. You just get more, and they're just so cute and adorable, and I love them in this. And now we're just gonna spread them into the pan. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting a like the silicone baking tins. They're so much easier to clean. They are kind of awkward to get into the oven because they're so flexible. Um, so you could put them on a baking sheet or whatever, but I just think this makes it so much easier and I love scooping them with a scoop to put them in the oven or in the pan. And this is a finished product, you guys. Now you're probably thinking, wow, that pan looks a lot different. It does because I forgot to film them the first time when I took them out of the oven. So this is a remake right here. But I love the silicone pan. It just makes it so easy. And here they are, you guys. These are the greatest things to just grab, take out the door. I personally eat two um, for a serving size, but I love these. They're so good. I love taking them to work or opening them up and putting some peanut butter on the inside. Seriously, so good. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, comment down below and share your guys' remake. Oh, crap.